I'm focusing in forex trading. I have a brand name. So the brand name is called the Road to FTT. That's mean Road to Full Time Trader. Because the whole game in my life is to become a full time trader. So the full time trader meaning that you have an option, right? You have an option. If you don't work, if you don't have business, then you have money inside your pocket and can pay for your bills and pay for your uh, uh, travel expenses or you can buy anything that you want. This is my uh, route. Activity. And I say it again this is a trading archetype based on major, minor volatility trading. So I'm going to start. With this, I'm going to check whether this is working or not because I'm using PDF apparently. All right, this is good. All right. So this is some facts and figures about me. I have uh, 11 years trading experience right now, and I have 26 uh, K Facebooks uh, followers. I started like uh, introduce myself to the markets, introduce myself uh, to the public is uh, about three years ago. And then I had 10K YouTube subscriber, 3.5K Telegram, and 25K email subscriber. They're already in my database. So why this is really important? Because the important part that, because you need to know why I'm doing this, because I'm, I'm, I can say that I'm really tired of some of teachers, or I'm not saying teachers, some of people's, or some of traders that only put a you know, profit screenshot on Telegram, profit screenshot in, in YouTube, uh, sorry, not YouTube, uh, Profit Telegram on uh, Facebook, and they do not explain. There's merely a profit, 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 but we do not understand that basically how the trend is analyzed and how entry is being made and what the exit point. So this is happening again and again and again and again. So I'm, I'm thinking that this may be another way that we can help the traders that really facing the real markets. That the whole idea started. And... Four years ago, I organized a class, and in, in that class, um, I had experience with students that, you know, a 3D class, and they understand, okay, and when I asked, do you understand, fully understand? Yes, I understand. So you know how to do this? Yes, I understand this. But when they came back home, what happened is they, they blur when they're facing the market, right? They, when when they, they open the chart, and then blur, they, they cannot do the market uh, trading itself. They feel understand but did not know how to facing the real markets. That's what's happening in my experience. So I remember the Mahatma Gandhi quote said, if you want to see the change and you become the change itself. So I started myself that change. I want to give a real trading experience through YouTube. I think YouTube is a, a place where everybody can subscribe and everybody can, you know, straightforward, uh, understand how to uh, engage with me and I can answer your question uh, promptly. So this is my takes, right? To give real trading experience and how to handling risk and emotion based on moment of decision and moment of truth. So what of moment of decision? When you have entry positions. So what you're going to do if, if the uh, trend is against you? There's a moment of decision. Either you cut loss or either you just, you know, let it floating for three days, three weeks, or maybe you focus on the um, new entry, new layer entry. Or maybe you focus on the, uh, I don't know, maybe you just, uh, you know, close your computer, all right, switch off your computer and then uh, let forget about it. I don't know. So that's how, it, that's how important that you need to have a moment of decision first and then moment of truth. What is moment of truth? The moment of truth is that why you start trading, why you start trading, that's the moment of truth. So why you start trading? Some people start trading because they feel like want to become rich because they heard like some other traders that have some big cars, you know, uh, luxurious cars, big house, or big wife, I don't know. So, so <laughs> everything bigger, so they're, they're, they feel this is a kind of lifestyle they want. So some of the people, they do not, they do not know what they want. They just uh, bump to their friends to what you're doing, so they suddenly uh, uh, saw uh, his friend or her friend making some money, then he just started. So they know what to do, right? They don't know what to do. So, uh, and maybe you start trading the moment of truth because you want to solve your, currently you have a debt. You have a debt. Or maybe currently that you have a debt and you have knowledge and you need to take a step to get knowledge. I don't know where you are. That is a moment of truth. They call moment of truth, moment of decision. This is like transparently, brutally, you know, truthful to yourself while you're trading at the moment and what, the focus for your trading, all right? So that's really important, okay? So that's why this is a basic uh, multi-touch point, touch point. What I'm, 
I'm saying by this multi-touch point, you can see this is a four-touch point. Why touch point is really important? Because I had experience with my mentors, like um, maybe around uh, eight or nine years ago, that he already keep follow up me, right? Like most every day that he keep following up me. So what, what, Jero, so how's your trading? Jero, oh, so where's, where's, where, where's your position? Jero, what you do if this position? So it made me realize that mentoring and coaching is need to be continuously. That's why I built up this um, multi-touch point. That's where you can be in my Telegram groups, all right? So this Telegram group is special because I bluntly do not want people that only share a profit screenshot. This is, um, you know, strict restrictions in my group. You must give analysis. The whole game is to make you independent, not dependent to other traders by signal analysis. Because I'm really against that type of mind, right? Following signals, you know, uh, following some, some, I don't know, some prediction by, by, by others. And worst case, there are people that they are in two or three telegram, different telegram, or five telegram of different groups of different uh, trading technique, and how they define trend, how they define the entry, at the, uh, how they define entry is based on merely, okay, this group A is selling on GPPSD. So group B is selling on GPPSD, and the third one, uh, group C is selling GPPSD. Oh, that's why I'm going to sell GPPSD now. So they indicate the based on the telegram itself. So it's not uh, gonna help you in the long run, right? Do you follow me? Understand? All right, so the second part is a YouTube. YouTube now have a live chat. That means you can have real conversation with me. And uh, this is in my subscription and on Facebook. This is a multi-touch point. Because when you have multi-touch point, you can engage with me at a multi-angle. Because I give a different content format. Like YouTube, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, uh, give you a live trading uh, experience. In Telegram, I'm going to give you like, uh, a group that support each other to understand based on different analysis. It doesn't matter you, if you have different analysis. It doesn't matter that you're gonna, uh, you have like, uh, uptrend analysis. I, I got a downtrend analysis and we have a different view. But really important to create your own standalone firm decision based on what you are you know, looking at the chart. So that's really important. Okay? And, uh, and the email based on where I give you some example of case study. So I, I two or three times per week, I, I do blast email for you. Then you, I can understand, oh, this is a case study. Or maybe I invite you some seminars. Or, or I give you some opportunity that maybe this broker can have, uh, you know, sponsor this um, Venues so that you can come in, then I'm going to have you there. That, that's, that's why I'm, uh, uh, you know, basically build up this multi touch point. All right. So this is uh, just a glimpse. I don't know because it's not very clear. Uh, this is um, some of the students that follow me that uh, have made money, obviously. All right. So this is the first one. This is Diana. So she went to my seminar in Dorset, sponsored by another broker. He doesn't know me, like maybe some of you do, uh, do not know me, you just merely just come here. And then uh, he said to me, uh, thank you, Coach, uh, to show me how to, uh, how to read trend. And then uh, uh, now, uh, before this, he used signals and followed the other telegram group. And then now he made his own decisions. All right, so thankfully that I begin to trust myself because compared to before, I depend on other people or other signals. That's really important that, uh, for her, right? So he still stick with me right now, and he gained more profit. This is uh, one of the live chat uh, screenshot. This is one of the guy that came to my workshop last week. He just made, uh, because the workshop uh, is about 700, he just made about 700 from the free method that I showed on the YouTube. It's called Stosh, Stosh Giller, Stosh Giller. So that Stosh that I showed, that, uh, he said that, Thank you, Coach, that I attended your workshop. Uh, I will attend the workshop in the next coming days because I already made profit based on the, uh, the free technique that I give, all right? So, and then this is one, this is the accommodation. This is another person that combined uh, Stosh and the BBMA, all right? They combined Stosh and the BBMA, all right? So, um, if you're interested to follow me and you're interested to know more, you can go to the youtube.com slash road to FTT because I do daily live trading. Believe it or not, I still doing it today for the past three years, every freaking days, right? Without stop, all right? Every freaking days without stop, and I engage 
uh, just, uh, just a few things that I, I changed. Before this, I talked about one and, one and a half hour, and then I changed to one hour, and now it's 30 minutes because I think it's going to really take many times of my uh, daily life, right? So I, I try to put on 30 minute content format, but it's going to help you on the trading itself. Okay. So uh, this is my, uh, my YouTube channel. I have right now 10,000 for, for uh, uh, 444 subscribers. This is I just screenshot this morning. Uh, this is, you can see, I have a few things here. This is a live trading, so I do live trading with you, and you can have a chat here with me. This is live trading. And this is also, I just launched in English last month, because before this, I'm teaching in Malays. But some of the people that intrigue enough, because they ask me, do you have a written in English, or do you have a, a, a content in English? And it's bugging me for many, many years. And then yeah, I just bluntly started this, like, a uh, few uh, weeks ago. It's... Uh, it's uh, a few weeks ago within a month, right? So I got a friend from uh, many places now. Okay, so this is the Telegram group. So HTTPS, t.me, root to, uh, root, root to FTT officials. Uh, we have lots of pool of traders here from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from Brunei and Singapore, because this is literally speaking in Malay. All right. But if you're interested in English, I just started this uh, English. Uh, you need to contact my assistant 6010-237-0055 in order to give you invite links because I don't have any official Telegram link yet. So you can contact uh, her. So this is, uh, I got friends from Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, Singapore, US, Brazil, Mongolia. I don't know why the Mongolian is <laughs> just, I don't know why. Because when I see in my, we see in my mind, when I see Mongolian, I see horses, you know, hawk. Mountains, so there's a lot of Mongolian. This is based on my YouTube analytic and Australia, right? So this is the common problem for traders. What the common pro uh, uh, common problem for traders? Do you have experience that whenever you have buy position, you have made your analysis, you buy position, and then suddenly price come down? It's like just know where your entry is. It's something like how uh, uh, so Malay says some sucker, you know. Sucker that haunted you, the ghost that haunted you that you know where your trading is, right? When suddenly you, you made a sell position, then the price go up suddenly. And when you make positions buy and the price go down suddenly. So it's like against you. Do you wonder what's this happen? And you wonder where's the trend? When I started this like uh, 2007 and 2008, um, many of the experienced traders said, oh, you need to be friend with your trend. Friend with your trend. All right, friend with trend. Friend with trend. So I know, but I think trend is not my friend. It's all, always against my position. So what the heck? What, what the heck happened uh, to the analysis? Then this bugging me for many, many years. And, uh, and, and also, you're also confused where is the trend. So some of my students, some of my, uh, my, my subscribers ask me, uh, Coach, uh, can I know uh, where is the trend? So is trend is based on H4, or based on one hour, or four hours, or based on weekly? So which, which time frame? So which I, I, I want to, uh, which, which, which place I want to, which time frame I want to hold on. So they do not understand, they do not comprehend. And also, what's the entry point? What's the exit point? This is really make confusing. This is common problem. You have this common problem? So if you have a common problem, this is the right workshop for you. Right? Because I'm going to solve you within 30 minutes. What the heck, coach? It's 30 minutes. Yes, 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. So I've been trading like three years, and I don't know where to trade. Yes, in 30 minutes. Believe it or not, 30 minutes. All right? So how to solve? Basically, we have three trend trading, three types of trend trading. Like I said before in earlier my uh, session, that we have three types of trading. All right, three types of trading, trend trading. The first one is understand the major trend. What are the words? Major trend. The major trend. How to define the major trend? You need to understand what, uh, what's the major trend. Second part is understand the minor trend trading. You need to enter minor trend trading. I'm going to go through this one by one based on understanding major trend trading, understanding minor trend trading, and the third one is the understanding on volatility. What are the words? Volatility trading. This is a three type of trading. If you find it on YouTube, you find it in your books, or you find it, uh, I don't know, maybe in other places, it's, it's not be there because I just created this one. Right? I just created it, suddenly just pop up in my mind because of my experience of many, many years, right? And teaching lots of uh, thousands, thousands of students, right? So the first rule, what well, the first rule is the always anticipate rather than react. What well, the first rule, follow me, always anticipate rather than react. Okay, together, always anticipate rather than react. You need to anticipate first, right? 
Everything you do, you need to anticipate for it. You need to anticipate if you make an entry, then profit, then what you need to do. Some of my students have a problem with don't, make, uh, don't have a profit, then suddenly they make a profit. Coach, I already have 100 pay. What should I do? You know, I suddenly just, uh, okay. So I realized some people, they have trouble that making profit um, position, but he has profit position. But the problem, he, don't want to, he do not know how to do uh, if, either to make action, either in a close post or just, uh, you know, let the post uh, running positively. And the third one, and the second one that some of the people that already, you know, in the market and they're floating, what should I do? Should I kill or should I let uh, the, the position, uh, should I close the position? Or I, I need to wait a few days, even <laughs> few weeks, even few months and want to the, uh, want to the, uh, pro the price come down and have a profit again. So do you have problem that when you have a red or negative floating, then you just wait for the float for many, many days? If you are experiencing that, you have a floating position, right? Floating, that's many negative positions. And then you can wait three, five days, and even two weeks. But when you have a profit position, you immediately want to close. So what the heck has happened? So the thing happened because not only merely you don't have experience, but you maybe don't have a, someone that's going to show you uh, what, how to trade effectively, right? Or how to trade effectively. So the first rule is always anticipate rather than react. That means you need to understand when you are in negative position, what you should do. When you have positive position, what you should do. Or either in a side way, what you should do. All right? You need to have many, many angles. That's really important. Okay? So what is the major trend trading? It's merely based on the focus on the candlestick trend and segment entry zone one. So it's called MA opposite. I'm going to illustrate this based on Bollinger Band and MA systems. All right, you can use it as any technique, but I'm going to illustrate it based on Bollinger Band and moving average. All right. So the first one, you need to clearly define what is the candlestick trend. So I don't know whether you can see all this, uh, on this. So this is A, this is a candlestick trend. So candlestick trend, Definition for the technical for candlestick trend, eh? the close price. What are the words? Close price. In candlestick, there has a close price, open price, high and low. You focus on the close price. So the close price must be above, in this case, both of the pink line, above, purple line, then above the middle band. Okay, above the purple line and the middle band. This is a candlestick trend that shows the up, up trend. You understand? You follow me? So, is, is, that's it, Gosh. Yes, that's it. All right, that's it. So, it's just a bluntly that you can see this is the uh, candlestick close price above the, both of the, uh, the, in this case, this is moving average. This is uh, uh, purple. So, I call it purple rather than MA5, MA10. So, it close above the uh, MA purple and then uh, close above the Bollinger Band. All right, this is Bollinger Band. So, this is how you see for the candlestick uptrend. So, it show for the up. Uptrend. And this one, this is a candlestick downtrend. What is it called? Candlestick down? Downtrend. So how to define the candlestick downtrend? It's a mirror for the candlestick up, uptrend. It's a positive way of candlestick uptrend. So the first one that is must be close below the both of the pink and the and the middle, middle band. It's called candlestick down, downtrend. Alright. What I'm trying to say that you need to identify this trend. Alright. If you look on the can you open the MT4 now? Right now, in this like, I, I think like two minute sessions that I show you the trend, right now you should understand how to define trend, right? Based on candlestick trend, but you need the setup or the system that put on your system. The system, no worries, I give for free if you want to uh, learn and you want to uh, uh, see how, how it looks, right? So just open the, the all right. So, all right, so I'm going to give you some life example, right? Life example. Can you give me a pair, sir? What's your name? Give me your pairs. A pair. Any, any pairs? You want to give an options? Gold. Okay, ready, left gold. We are buying gold now. All right. So I'm going to show for the gold. All right. All right. So this is uh, why this is not working. So I'm going to find it manually. So for the goal, 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 where are you? Here's here. All right, so the goal. 
So what's the current trend in the, uh, in the goal for the one hour session, one hour? So this is really important, eh? This is really important. If you're learning, you learn from the left to right. That's where you're learning because you need to see historical patterns. That's how learning works in Forex technique, any technique. From the left to right because you need to see historical pattern, all right? Because you want to understand this is the historical part, all right? In order to do life analysis, you need to look on the right to left, right to left. So in this case, we have learned before that we need to find left to right because we want to study. But for the analysis, you need to right to left. This is how you, you know, define your trend. So what to look on the right to left? What you just learned? What you just learned? Candlestick trend, right? Either uptrend or downtrend, right? So in this case, you need to see, so where is the candlestick Trend, right? Where the candlestick trend, I call this candlestick dominant setup, it's a jargon name, I know. But candlestick dominant setup, what's the trend? What the candlestick is dominate whole the uh, candlestick um, uh, in this chart, all right? So you can see what the candlestick, what the latest trend? This one, no, 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 no. This one, right? So why this one? Because it's close above the pink and the middle band. So for hash one, this is a buy or sell trend. Buy. All right, buy. So you look on the right to the left. This is a buy position. All right, you got me? All right, for the week, for the, for the uh, daily. So what's the trend for the daily? All right? For the daily. Okay, look on the daily. Look right to left. Look from the right to, to left. Daily. This is daily. Right to the left. Okay, right to the left, right to the left. All right. From the right to the left, all right, this is a bull, bull, doesn't have meaning, doesn't make sense, doesn't have meaning, doesn't have meaning. This is has meaning, right? Why it has meaning? Because the close price now for the bear is close below the pink and the middle band. So for the, what time frame it is? For the daily, it's still in down, downtrend. For the hash ball, it's up. Up trend. H1, we just uh, look on the H1, it's up, up trend. So now, Coach, I'm confusing. So daily is a uh, downtrend. H1, H1, so where, where should I, I follow? All right, where should I follow? Where should I focus on? So you need to focus on any time frame that you comfortable with and you trust with. What I mean by that? Okay, the key in forex trading is always respect bigger time frame. When you have in uncertainty based on the H1, H4 daily, so you focus on bigger time, time frame. It's on daily, all right? So when you have three options, daily, hash four, and weekly, you focus on the weekly. So that's how my thing works, all right? So respect elders. Hormati orang tua, eh? So hormati dia. Kalau tidak, ada hacker. So you need to understand that you need to respect el elders, all right? So I'm going to give you some, uh, another uh, example, all right? I'm going to uh, rush here a bit. Okay, so now you understand the candlestick, um, uh, all right, trend. So where's the entry zone, right? Where the entry zone? Blah, 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 blah. view, 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 full mode. All right, where's the entry zone? Entry zone is the MA opposite, all right, MA opposite. The opposite of purple is pink. The opposite of purple is pink. The opposite of purple is pink. The opposite of pink is Purple. So when can the stick close above the purple and the middle band? So you wait entry for the buy at the ping. Ping. Wait for the ping. You need the price to uh, uh, retrace down. This is can the stick trend, and then wait for the ping. It touch ping, right? Wait for the ping. When the candlestick trend close below the middle band and the uh, above of the uh, ping and the middle band, then you wait for the Purple, that's it. Always buy low, sell high. Always buy low, sell high. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, these are simple and uh, straightforward. All right, that's it. Okay, so how to define the major trend? You need to do basic analysis and mapping. What you need to do? Basic analysis and mapping. That's what you need to do. So you do this every um, um, Monday. You do this every Monday. I'm sorry, I need to. Uh, Faster my pacing a bit. All right, for the goal itself, so look on the monthly. All right, what you need to find? You need to find the candlestick trend. All right, so what you do, you take this uh, rectangle and then you need to do like this on the 
positions uh, zone, right? Position zone. In this case, this is a candlestick trend. So based on these two MA, you do this for the, all right, for the, uh, can, uh, uh, the setup, all right? So now, right now, what I want you to do, all right, go for the weekly again, then you can see this is another setup. All right, so you need to find where is the candlestick trend, all right? In this case, you can see the candlestick trend for the can, uh, weekly is around here. But uh, in this case, if you follow me longer enough, you understand this is not the candlestick trend because it's merely complement the entry zone for the monthly. All right, that means it's non-valid. So you need to find on the uh, another one that says this is the candlestick trend, right? This is the candlestick trend. So this is the same zone with the monthly zone, right? So when you, right now, I, I can see practically if you have sell position, then you're in the deep shit right now for gold because it's just started from the weekly and the monthly zone to go up, all right? But if you have enough margin, then you can wait for the uh, MA deposit on the, uh, on the uh, uptrend, all right? On the uh, sell zone, okay? Then you do for the daily. I'm going to give, um, okay. For the daily, in this case, you can see this is a candlestick trend, right? So just before, we, we understand this is a candlestick trend, and this is this dominant holder setup, then we say this is coming down. But in this case, you understand this candlestick trend is complement entry zone for weekly and monthly. That means this is an entry, not a candlestick trend. Got me? Got me? All right, so the candlestick trend is here, all right? It's here, all right? I know you can get a little bit confusing because you don't have enough experience, but just bear with me. Remember, Socrates said, there's no learning without remembering. Socrates said, there's no learning without remembering. So you need to remember first, all right? Then you understand when you're doing it, all right? So just put in your head, all right? All right, and then uh, go for the hash four, all right, hash four, and then suddenly you know this is a candlestick trend, and then this is the entry zone. I'm gonna stop at the um, hash four, all right? So what you need to do, this is a basic analysis time frame. So in this case, you understand that the price need to retest for the entry zone and it's go up here, right? This is the, the basic understanding of uh, forex trading. You should know uh, right now, all right? And before, all right? So this is also the entry zone for the uh, candlestick trend, all right? And the second part also, this is uh, known for the candlestick trend, all right? So this is uh, uh, the mapping. So basically, you have, in your case, in, on your eyes right now, you have three positions right now. So this is uptrend, but you have three possibilities. How many possibilities? Three possibilities. The first one that is going to retest for the hash ball zone and go up, right? And the second part that is going to retest on the weekly and go goes up. And the third one is retest on the monthly and goes up. This is some major trend. So the total major trend for the month for the goal is up, uptrend. How you define it based on candlestick trend and then based on the analysis multi time frame. So it's called basic analysis and mapping. So your mapping is this is the the trend uptrend. All right. So the uptrend. So I trade this with 20% effort. So I'm focusing more on the next is a minor trend. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm kind of a rush because somehow I have tendency to talk a lot. <laughs> so I need to uh, make sure I'm in the uh, right track. Right. So. I give you some uh, revisions right now. What is candlestick trend? It's merely focus on candlestick close above the purple or close below the pink and the mid middle band. That's it. So how you do the basic analysis? You go for the monthly, weekly, daily, hash four, and you look for the entry zone and the candlestick trend. That's it. All right? Got this? Follow me? All right. And then we go for the minor trend. Basically, it's a focus on retracement or focus on the pullback. It's focused on what? Retracement or pull? Pullback. Basically, it's against major trend. So major trend right now is up, uptrend, right? So you do the position against the uptrend. That means you're going to focus on sell position. What the heck, coach? Because in minor trend, it's going to give you quick money compared to major trend. All right? But you have floating position for major trend. It's okay because it, one day it's going to be, um, you know, profit positions. But... When you focus on major trend, you can do the, this every day. It's more on uh, daily life trading. Because some of my students said, Coach, uh, do we need a daily trade? Do, do we need to do uh, trading daily? Uh, it doesn't mean you need to do trading daily. 
Because as a forex trader, you do not trading is also called trading. It's just a discipline where you to wait for the setup zone. It's not merely do trading every day. But I do trading every day because I give live example on the YouTube. You get me? All right. So the first one, how to define the main, the uh, minor trend that you need to use this this uh, you know this explanation on the system. All right. The first one is black line magnet. What is called? Black line magnet. So black line magnet, how to define the black line magnet? This is basically is EMA, exponential F50, as a black line. So use it as a black line. I use the color of black line, that's why I call black line magnet. If you're interested in pink, then you have pink magnet. Okay? It depends which power ranges that you uh, fall into, all right? So I'm a black power ranges, right, right now? So EMA 50 and that's a black line. The second one is you need to understand the candlestick close, high and low, and you need to measure hash four. Minimum 100 pip. How many pips? 100 pip. If daily is 500, 150 pips and weekly is 500 pips. All right. In this case, this is my real positions, right? I already closed these positions, but I closed last week position. This is my position here. My position on the goal. This is a real uh, position. All right. Most of my students also have the same position there. So why we trigger on this uh, buy position, even though this is candlestick trend, downtrend, because we measure from the close price, all right, from the black line is either is 100 pip or above. So I can see this is 100 pip, so we trigger for the retracement. We focus on the retracement instead of the uh, uh, sell position, right? And the second part that you need to understand, the second part is MA mirror. So you have two things now, black line magnet, and the second part is black, uh, MA mirror. So what is kind of mirror? When you're facing yourself in the mirror, you see who? Yourself, right? You don't see other people. If you see other people, there's something wrong with your mirror, something wrong with you. Or maybe some goes around it. All right? So, MA mirror means that the MA facing each other. Which MA? The purple and the pink. So, they're facing each other. Okay. This is basically understanding based on the sideways range before the price break, right? So, based on bigger time frame, focus on weekly and time frame. So, you use this on the weekly and the monthly. All right? Weekly and the monthly. All right? So this is a candlestick uptrend. We know this is a candlestick uptrend over there, but now you need to see this is also triggered by MA, all right, facing each other. It's called a MA mirror, right? So what we need to do is always respect bigger time frame. That's why we're focusing on MA mirror on weekly and monthly, all right? Weekly and monthly, all right? So this is my result based on the uh, what I just uh, told you or, or spoke to you in. Uh, Fast 15 minutes. So this is the major trend. I focus on the major trend, all right? The focus major trend. And this major trend on the last year, this is basic focus. I have many accounts. So this is one of the accounts that I use uh, to demonstrate in the live YouTube because I don't do, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm more, most likely love to do the forward test compared to back test. That's what I'm doing the live YouTube, right? So this is the one of the live account. So I made this around um, the first uh, May is 8.5% and then 7, 2.5% on the June and then dropped to negative 2.6, 6.5, 4. Point, uh, negative 4.5, 2.19, 3.55 and even this is on December in 1%. On the January, you can see this is a 2.7%, 2.8% and then you can see on the March, it's like a, just slumps up, right? It just goes up. So why? Because I'm focusing on the minor trend, minor trend trading. Right? So what happened here, this is basically a trading psychology. I don't have much time to explain you on this, but I want to show this. This is the definition between the major trend trading and the minor trend trading. So this is more, it's more, it's moved like uh, from point that 2.8% uh, uh, to 29.4%, and this month, I just closed position is uh, almost 8%. Right? I have a running position, and I close it, go, goes up. Uh, more and more. So, which pair I'm using? So, some of people said, oh, we must focus on this pair, this pair, pair. No, you just focus on the setup. Merely focus on the setup. Doesn't matter time frame, doesn't matter pairs, doesn't matter time frame, and doesn't matter pairs. Okay, it's okay. Any pair is okay, any time frame. There's no such thing. Okay, stick H1, stick H1, stick M30, stick weekly. No, it's merely focus on the setup that you know and understand. In this case, you understand candlestick trend, so focus on this, eh? Set up, all right? Got me? 
So roughly this is all the repairs, and average I'm holding my position is uh, three days. Three days. Well, why three days? Because I'm focusing on the minor trend on the weekly, with the primary memory, um, MA mirror facing, and then when the price goes at that zone, so I wait for black line magnet active, and then I go against the trend of the major trend trading. But um, when I travel, I'm focused on major trend because I don't see the uh, chart regularly, all right? So focus on the minor trend. You want quick win, focus on the minor trend, but you need to understand you're against the major trend, all right? Got this? I have how many minutes? 10 minutes, all right? Ah, it's like a uh, sprint. <laughs> sprint. I don't think I have uh, 10 minutes to uh, share with you this volatility in trading, but somehow I try to explain a glimpse of it, right? Because I need to give you some manual explanation compared to the chat. I'm not good at the chat. This is the first time I have a chat. I, I have a, a presentation uh, uh, slide, right? So I'm not good on the uh, slide. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I kind of people just play by ears, right? You know, I, I kind of teaching that I, I know your question and focus on this. So I have all syllabus in mind. I'm not a slide person. So uh, this is my first effort that I have slide, all right? So, so for the road to FTT, volatility trend trading, so it's involved risk management, win-loss ratio, risk reward ratio, and frequency. So what involves risk management? What the first one? Risk management. The second part is win-loss ratio. Win-loss ratio. The third one is risk reward ratio. And the third one is frequency, all right? So what is systematic trading? So I, I got this from the uh, Wikipedia. So basically, volatile trading is a systematic trading. Volatility trading is systematic trading. So it's also known as a mechanical trading, all right? So it's a way of defining trade goals, risk control, and rules that can make investment and trading decision in methodical ways, all right? You can use the same kind of trend. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't think I have much time, but I try to make uh, most of the time, but, um, you need the other, the other one is volatile trading. So what do you mean by volatile trading? It's conceived of major and minor. All right, you can see the major is coming down, the minor is up. So you focus on the volatility of major and minor, so it's called major trend trading. Okay, maybe I can demonstrate uh, just one part of the major trend trading. It's based on candlestick trend uh, we learned earlier. Okay, this is a major trend trading, all right? So hopefully we have time. I'm going to give you some example. We don't have em uh, enough example enough time to show you more example. So I'm going to write this on notepad so you make understand. All right, let's say you put your initial investments. All right, is the $1,000, right? Let's say you put initial investment $1,000, right? So let's say your risk management that you are taking now is the management is 10%. So 10% from 1,000 USD, how much? 100 USD. That's mean if you hit stop loss, then you're going to loss. 1,000, uh, 100, right? And then you, and then with the risk reward management, risk reward ratio, you're going to use this ratio. You can use any ratio, any ratio, but in this case, I'm going to give you some example ratio. One to two. That's mean when you hit one stop loss, you're going to lose 100. When you hit take profit, you're going to make double, double. Okay, dua kali, double. All right. So this is the risk reward ratio. So how to do this? You need a trading plan. So how to make a trading plan? One is you need to define trend which is we already defined trend earlier based on candlestick trend, right? And the first one that we need to the entry zone, how to define entry zone. Basically, you know where's the entry zone, right? Entry zone is MA opposite, right? And, this, and, this, and the third one that the, uh, you need to understand where's the exit zone. Exit zone, which means that where is your stop loss or where your take profit, right? So this is how you define a trading plan. But you don't have trading plan, you need to start work on this first, right? So... Uh, it's like a sprint now. All right, come on. All right, um, okay, let, uh, let I give you some example. This is, um, maybe I give you an example for uh, another press because I don't want to be biased for one press. All right, pop, 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 maybe GPBSD. All right, so in this case, you can do the back test on hash force. So I'm going to show you a glimpse example. So I, let's say I give you uh, da, 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 da. Let's say we started on the April as well, right? We started now. This is how you do the back test, all right? So just bear with me and hold on. All right, this is the uh, first of April, all right? On the first April, you need to want is mark, marking the candlestick trend first, all right? What the first, the first thing you need to do, marking the candlestick trend, all right? The, uh, the candlestick trend first, all right? So now you're marking the candlestick trend. So this is candlestick what? Uptrend or downtrend? Uptrend. And then you need to marking again. 
This one, right? This one. You need to find one bull and another one is bear, the opposite of candlestick trend. So you're marking this one. This one is bull, bear. All right, and this one is, uh, what is this? Uptrend. And then you need to find what? Down? Downtrend. And then go for the uptrend. And then you do this repeatedly and you do it again and again until you don't have any uh, positions that uh, counter your positions, right? So basically, we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades based on the April on the GPBSD. Right, based on it. So how to implement the volatility trend trading? Right. How to implement that? The first rule is that you need to put your effort on focus on the risk reward ratio. Right. So basically, risk reward ratio we are using now, I just bluntly uh, share, share to you, is 30 pips and 60 pips. I mean, you going to make a stop loss at 30 pips and you're going to hit take profit on 60 pips. Got it? Got it? All right. So let's put it this way. All right. So uh, this is the last session, so right? No worries. Okay. This is candlestick trend. So you, this is the 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 the, uh, the retest for the entry, right? You understand this? So you see, is it hit stop loss? Not yes or not? Yes. All right. So you have one, one stop loss. Tolong tulis kita. One stop loss, right? So one stop loss, right? So this is the uh, next candlestick trend. Oh, we have wrong uh, candlestick trend here, but no worries. I'm going to just show you. You can just use this. So one stop loss. And another one is, this is a uh, candlestick trend. This is hit stop loss or take profit. This is not hit stop loss because we are we're using 30 pips as stop loss. And now we now is, is TP or not 60 pips? PP. The second one is take profit. And the third one, 30, 60. This is the entry zone. Uh, stop loss, not. This is take profit, right? Take profit, the third one. Okay, the fourth one, this is the um, negative one. This, this is the entry zone. Stop loss or profit? Stop loss, all right? I'm sorry if you are a beginner. This is not a beginner class. This is like an intermediate plus advanced class, all right? So uh, this is the candlestick trend. So it's stop loss or TP? TP. And then this one is you don't know yet. It's not triggered yet, right? So how many candlesticks we have? One, two, four, one, two, three, four, five. So we have uh, five candlesticks that we traded uh, here now. Based on candlestick trend. So we have uh, two stop loss based on April. So two stop loss, right? Two SL and one TP. All right, one, uh, sorry, uh, three TP, all right? Three take profit. So based on win-loss ratio is, uh, I think it's a good ratio because it's three take, take profit and two for the stop loss, right? It's a mechanical way, mechanical way of trading approach, right? So in this case, you put, what's your risk management? Again, 10% equal to from the 1,000 USD you have now is one? 100, right? So how to count this, right? This 100, you times 2, so you equal for stop loss is what? 200 USD, right? And then for the third TP, uh, for the time of TP, 3 plus 100, all right? Uh, 3 um, uh, multiply 100 and mi multiply 2, and then how, how much you get? 6, 100. So what's your net profit? 6 minus 200 is 400. Basically, you made 40% based on risk management of the 10%. All right. So this is how the way it works. All right. This is how the way. This is, uh, this is merely focused on one single time frame without you knowing the risk of the bigger time frame, without you knowing how to minimize risk or without knowing the how to avoid risk. So basically, this is a practical approach which you don't care about the trend and you want to emotional free. All right. Emotional free. So you need to do this again and again for at least 100 candlestick trend. How many? 100 candlestick trend. You need to do this again and again for 100 candlestick, candlestick trend. All right, I'm going to finish this now. All right. Blah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you need to do this again and again because the, uh, the key, I already did demonstrations. So the key for the uh, candlestick trends, uh, for the, the systematic trading is based on one is frequency. It must be enough frequency. All right, you don't do this like one month, two months. You need to do like... Uh, Minimum one year, all right? Minimum for the back test and the forward test because it's not going to give you an example. This is somehow give us good example on GPPSD, but you have enough time. You do for the three uh, months or six months, you're going to find it's different. But the key is the frequency, and the second part is the uh, lot size you are, you are taking in. All right, so I don't have much time. Thank you so much for your time. This is, uh, you can follow me, uh, Coach, where you want to start, where you want to follow me. You can follow start from the youtube.com slash road to FTT. All right, I done.